The small loggerhead sea turtle may not realize it, but he's setting off on a journey that could change the way we understand the Pacific Ocean and perhaps lead a research team along a mysterious path that essentially stretches from Japan to the coastline of Mexico and California. So we've developed a scientific hypothesis as to how turtles get across the ocean, mm. and now we're actually testing that hypothesis. Dana Briscoe is a marine scientist with Stanford's Door School of Sustainability. Several months ago, the team released 25 sea turtles fitted with tracking devices near a nutrient-rich band of warm water known as the North Pacific Transition Zone. Depicted as a white line in this animation, researchers say the hungry turtles typically follow it like a kind of ocean-going buffet, at least most of the time. But then earlier studies revealed some rare exceptions. We had over 200 turtles that were tagged in the early 2000s, and only six turtles made it to this uh, eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. And they really showed us the pathway of how turtles get from the middle of the ocean to their important habitat off of North America. But the mystery now is how and why some turtles journey through the waters that are normally too cold for them. Briscoe and Stanford colleague Larry Crowder developed a hypothesis. They believe the animals could be taking advantage of a warm water channel they describe as a thermal corridor, a kind of portal that either opens up or slams shut depending on the changing ocean temperatures, allowing the turtles to pass through. Uh, we're going to, if true, be able to predict under what oceanographic conditions we should expect to see loggerhead sea turtles in Baja California or even in the state of California. And while the predicted thermal corridor may have evolved naturally, the Stanford team wants to learn if it could be changing and whether influences like climate change may be shifting the balance and thereby altering the migration pattern of other marine creatures as well. To fully test the theory, researchers will track the turtles through warming and cooling ocean cycles, starting with this year's warm El Nino. We started off this year with one of the strongest El Ninos on record, uh, which is a, a banner of a year to kick off this study. And what we hope to see are other conditions change and evolve over the next four years. And they say there is evidence of change already, including along our own coastline. We documented the first loggerhead sea turtle ever in the history of Monterey Bay uh, in July. So with climate change, we're going to know a lot more about where these animals are likely to be and what kind of risks they're likely to be exposed to. And they say those discoveries could help biologists better protect the endangered loggerhead sea turtles and ultimately other marine life as well.